Hey everybody, so I just got a call from East Bay Express uh, editor and I guess publisher Stephen Buell. It's hard to get, figure it out because you know you call the number and it says Telegraph Media, but then it says East Bay Publishing. I get confused. Anyway, he called because he wants to push his idea of what we do and what I do in this in specific to the Insight Terminal Solutions client that I have. In spite of the fact that I have repeatedly made videos and in the videos discussing an Insight Terminal Solutions issue, I say Zenny 62 was commissioned, Zenny 62 Media was hired, and I say that in various ways through the text, when I write the text. And, and even with videos that are put up which don't have text, it's in the videos. Then on top of all that, there's an ad. So Stephen, just like in 2014, when he said his eyes were rolling, when I said the East Bay Express, I mean, excuse me, the Oakland Magazine, which is another publication that they're responsible for, was putting out a depiction of Oakland as if it didn't have black folks. And so then he says, uh, then his eyes were rolling. But then other people agreed with me on LinkedIn who are also white, okay? And so then Buell comes back and he, like last year, stepped down apparently for not a long time because reportedly one of his own charges was upset that he used the N-word in a meeting. And, but even then he said, don't believe what you write on social media. So again, that's the attempt to gaslight anybody who's black, who has a point of view that says, hey, you know what? That's racist. He doesn't want to listen. He just wants to impose his point of view. And so I was extremely explaining to him, hey, this is what I do in terms of letting you know that Insight Terminal Solutions is my client. And I mention it in video. And in general, and also mention it in the ads, as I said, but also mention it in other places as well. The continued message is they are my client. But rather than tell my story, he just called to advance his point of view and that's it. Okay, that's gaslighting and it's bullying and it should stop. Who pays the East Bay Express? The East Bay Express is listed in Crunchbase as a corporate for-profit. They don't make enough in terms of ad revenues to afford an entire staff. That's why they've gone freelance. Does someone from the Sierra Club come along and pay them? Why now, okay? We have just as much right to ask that question with respect to East Bay Express as anyone would ask it with respect to me. It's not a one-way street. And not only that, the East Bay Express only do this because they don't like my point of view and me. We have a 20-year bad relationship, straight out, okay? I tried to like Steven, but now I don't care because he's not nice to me and um, it's for whatever, for, for reasons that right now, whatever, it is what it is. But right now, what I'm explaining to you is this. I have zero issue designing the website, obviously, showing ITS ad, saying that they're my client. I've said in a video and a blog post, I'm proud to have them as a client, which, by the way, Space Express didn't mention. So, hey, if Steve is doing this because he thinks it's going to gin up traffic for him, ugh, yeah, good luck with that. But I am also stopping and fighting back against the bullying that organization has tried to do with respect to me. I have the right to my say.